guys hope everyone is doing good welcome back to my channel in today's video we are going to learn how to draw a beautiful banarasi lehenga now this was a requested video so i have tried to make it as simple as possible using very basic colors i will be using poster colors here you can go with water colors as well i will be mixing the poster red and the cobalt blue to get a nice shade of the red you can just simply use the red color or even orange color so this is not the important thing you guys we can just make the base but we will pay the main focus on doing the banarasi border at the end but here anyway we will color the base first i'm going with the base color and also using little bit of the black for the folds so use a bulky brush little bit thicker brush so that it's easier to spread the color for your folds and uh, you can go layer wise like start with a very lighter shade maybe and later keep on building the colors and then adding the black at the final stage here you can see i'm working with both the shade like i'm going with the red and uh, then slowly i'm adding the black also if you want a little bit of the lighter color you can just dilute the color with water to get a very lighter shade and uh, this variation will bring lot of contrast on the lehenga so yes definitely dilute your color the main color which we have done the mixing here that color is the main color so we can use it according to the contrast level sometime it can be very dark so you need to pick that thicker color and sometime you can keep it little lighter so just mix little water to it to decrease the contrast of the color and overall all this color will come together and create a nice fold effect on your lehenga So guys moving to the border portion here you can see I'm going with a yellow shade and uh, you can use any shade of yellow like yellow ochre, chrome yellow or even lemon yellow. So you take that yellow and uh, I'm mixing that color with little bit of the red here and we will use a variation of the color like sometimes we can use the yellow directly or uh, we can mix it little bit with the red and even black so here you can see in the border i'm giving this kind of vertical strokes and in the center i will leave that white portion since it's a silk fabric it will have that nice shine over it and also in this portion of the detailing it's made with zari thread like the zari golden or the colorful thread so here we have to show that nice reflection which is hitting on the folds like the center of the folds so there we can just leave this kind of white portion when we are coloring with watercolor so guys here you can just simply put the strokes around the corner like the outwards of the folds and leave that shine gap in the center and for coloring you can use this mixture of the colors like little bit of the yellow little bit of the red that is the base color and lastly we will increase the saturation or you can call the shade of the colors like near the folds using the black so while coloring this portion guys you can wait between your layers to let the color settle in and you can see that i'm using a very light wash of the color that uh, yellow i'm kind of diluting that yellow mixing it with little red and then using the black so here you can wait in between and keep on adding the colors layer by layer
you can see the base is done i've used mixture of the color here and uh, it's looking very heavy you can see all this crisp folds it giving a nice heavy effect to the lehenga and now is the time to give that final detailing of the motifs for that i'm using a detailing brush guys and i will be leaving the links of the products used in the description box below you can go and check out the products which i have used here and uh, now i will take the detailing brush and uh, give the fine details using a very diluted color of the red or you can use like the mixture of the red and the yellow or brown so it depends that uh, what is the color of the detailing there and uh, here we don't need to make very integrate detailing like you can just doodle some fine strokes you can see little bit of the motifs which are used and you can put that kind of little uh, shape on this portion and avoid the white portion you can start coloring from the corners because in the white portion it will be very reflective so the detailing of the work will not be visible much there remember guys these are silk zari threads which are very reflective very shiny so we have to bring out that effect on this portion so here our main goal is to keep the shine we have to maintain that shiny effect on the portion here on the border here so you can see i'm starting the coloring from the corners and using a very light wash of the red you can keep on adding the colors if you need to make it little darker later on so always remember guys that it's better to work in layers like you can start with a very light wash and if you feel that you want to darken it so that you can do later and you can start coloring from the corners and reach out in the center and give very fine strokes in the center so here you can see how the colors are developing and how the prints are developing and it's creating a very reflective look in the center of the folds so guys do try this one out it's actually very easy where you don't need to focus so much on the detailing just maintain that shiny effect look and uh, there are other approaches to of doing this kind of prints like using any kind of external medium over the base like using any fine detailing pen or uh, like golden colors so i will be sharing other methods too in the upcoming tutorial stay tuned and do try this one out and you can upload your works on your instagram profile and tag me on my id and uh, you can use the hashtag art studio by shabani so that i can come across your artworks under the hashtag Lastly for the work on the body I am using white base like the white poster color and over it you can add any kind of other color like yellow or the reddish color to show the similar kind of the motif 
or guys while you are coloring your lehenga that time only you can leave little gap on the paper where you want to show your motive so either of this can be done also in the poster color i am bringing the variation in the color like uh, diluting little bit of the poster color and using little heavy poster color on some of the motive so that we can bring variation in the motive also like uh, you can see some are little lighter color some are little dark so again it's showing the different types of the reflection when uh, the color is hitting on the motive so over and all guys the whole look is coming out to be like some portion is very reflective just how any kind of a banarasi silk would react lastly you can add your black for the final folds or little bit over the motif and using all these colors you can see we have created the beautiful look and i hope you enjoyed today's tutorial do let me know your views in the comment section and also you can mention any other videos i should make and what other type of tutorials you want to see more and if you are new to the channel don't forget to subscribe see you all very soon till then take care bye bye